She's dabbled in fantasy and science fiction and lived to tell the tale. Well, almost lived. Here's where you've seen Katya from John Wick 4 before. The casting in the live-action Harry Potter films was pretty perfect across the board, including the addition of Natalia Tena as Nymphadora Tonks. Don't call me Nymphadora. Debuting in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix in 2007, Tonks married tortured werewolf and former Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher Remus Lupin. While not as prominent a character as in the books, Tana certainly made her mark in the franchise until her heartbreaking exit with her on-screen husband in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Tana revealed that prior to every appearance she made in the Harry Potter movies, she would have vivid dreams about the world she was helping bring to life. Before filming began for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, she told the Los Angeles Times blog Hero Complex, I started having insane dreams again. Whenever I start a Potter film, I get these dreams. The last dream I had, I was in a war and the sky was blotted with broomsticks and I couldn't find my wand. It was so intense. I always have mental intense war wizard dreams when I'm doing the films. An undeniable platform for a plethora of talent before it took a nosedive in its final season, Game of Thrones had a series of stars come and go, including Natalia Tana as fleeing wildling Osha. Appearing for 16 episodes in HBO's award-winning show, she played one of the few wildlings that made it across the wall to escape the White Walkers. But she was thrown back into the madness when she became the protector of Brandon Stark. Like many likable characters on the show, Osha's time didn't stretch as long as others, and it didn't take long before her exit to figure out it was on the cards. Speaking to Inverse, Tana pinpointed exactly when she got the hint that her time on the show was ending, saying, I was so excited in season six when they brought me back. I'd been out for two or three seasons. They were like, don't worry, she's gonna come back. Unfortunately, it was when she returned to film scenes with Ewan Rayon, who played the psychotic villain Ramsey Bolton, that she realized her number was up. After seeing that she was only filming for two weeks following her return, it didn't take long to connect the dots. That's when I clocked, they're definitely killing me off, because I only had my scenes with him and it's very little to build on. So I was like, okay, I'm dying. Checking off three of the biggest IPs in her career so far, after wandering around Westeros and appearing alongside Harry Potter, Natalia Tena had a brief but just as brilliant time in a galaxy far, far away, appearing as a Twi'lek in the world-dominating show The Mandalorian. Brushing shoulders with the Beskar-plated protagonist, Tana played Xion, part of a team of mercenaries Din is forced to team up with in the show's sixth episode of its debut season. While she may have been recognized in other projects, here she's hiding in plain sights as an iconic alien species from the franchise with a lengthy Leku to match. A species that first debuted in Star Wars Episode VI Return of the Jedi in the form of Bib Fortuna and Jabba's slave girl that Leia briefly replaced, Twi'leks have become a common species that have made appearances in extended chapters of Star Wars lore. Currently, Xion's outcome was left unknown following the episode, with Miggs Mayfield, the only character from that band of bad but potentially good guys, making a comeback. Since then, there has been no mention of Din's former flame, but given just how big that galaxy is, there's still a chance she could turn up somewhere else in the future to cause as much trouble as she did here. 